So, to remind you what happened, I have just crossed the Stelvio Pass to visit the northern part of the Dolomites in Italy. I have to admit that I had a lot of fun. As you can see, the landscapes are splendid. And if you haven't already seen it, I strongly recommend you to go and see the four episodes of this adventure. And while you are here, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell to activate the notifications. This episode is a little bit particular. It is the link between the Dolomites and the south of the Tyrol in Austria. It will be shorter. I hope you will excuse me, but I absolutely wanted to show you the Stalle Pass before the Tyrol. We will start right here, at the foot of the border to go in Austria, at this little lake. For the landscapes, we are already well gifted. I have just finished eating in a restaurant on a terrace at the edge of the lake and I leave directly to climb the pass. But I had forgotten a small detail. Ah yes, you can only pass during one quarter of each hour. As you will see on the sign, the concept is very simple. You're green to go from 30 to 45, the rest of the time you cannot pass. So this means that we have a lot of pressure on our shoulders because that leaves us 15 minutes to go up. So now everybody is queuing for 20 minutes. And I am thinking that when that is going to switch to the green light, it's going to be a kind of race. Wow, 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 they are all preparing, motors are on, I can guarantee you, they will go like Marquez. Oh la 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 la, few seconds are remaining, the suspense is incredible, oh yeah, it's green, let's go! The road is in excellent state, it turns in all directions and the environment is just splendid with these beautiful mountains.
Well, it's time to go down to the valley. On the other side, good news, it's also beautiful. A crew of few millions euros are lining up to go to Italy. And some rich guys are thinking they are solo in this world. For my first Austrian lake, I'm pretty happy. I want to take pictures every 100 meters. If you don't eat in a restaurant at the lake before, here is a perfect place to have a picnic. What a view! Just after, I find myself on a superb road which goes down quietly in the valley between the fir trees and which dances in all the directions. Perfect for the end of the day. The scenery is quite different from the Italian side. It looks more like what I know at home in the Alps. You will see that it's only for a few tens of kilometers. Next episodes will be amazing, so don't forget to subscribe. I have found a place for the night. The boss here is the cat. It's been 10 years, he lives here and he thinks he's a dog. Well, why not? Here is my spot of camping for this evening. First day in Austria, so welcome in Austria! The Dolomites are not finished, it's past, and now it's Tyrol. So tomorrow morning, I'll go between the mountains to climb the famous Grossglockner. I think that's going to be very crowded because it's famous and it's gonna be sunny. And as usual, I won't leave very early, so I hope that I'm going to be able to make some pretty shots and pretty videos because it seems to be mind-blowing and moreover, Grossglockner is the star of the area here. So, see you in the next video!